Welcome to the Kindle unboxing by the Librarian in Black. I asked for a Kindle from my parents for the holidays, and uh, I, I received it, apparently. Um, it would appear, however, that they have done their own unboxing, as evidenced by the missing strip of cardboard and the uh, scant piece of scotch tape keeping it closed. But I can assure you, indeed, this is my first unboxing of the device. So let's see what we have, and let's see why so many people love this device so much, uh, despite the fact that it unfortunately doesn't allow for uh, library books on it. So I'm using the scotch tape, and all right. So we've got the first thing we see is the Kindle itself, covered in that wonderful plastic that seems to accompany every device nowadays. So let's. Uh, Let's get that off of there. I hate that stuff. All right. Uh, feels like it did in the store. Uh, very thin, lighter than my wallet, I believe. And what's lovely, you'll notice, look at that, right there on the screen, by default, you've got the instructions for how to do this, how to plug the Kindle in using the USB power port and the cord. Uh, which apparently will be in the box later, uh, and and where to do it, and then how to slide the power switch on the bottom of the Kindle, which would be there on the right, uh, to get things started. So I love that that the, the the instructions are right there on the device to begin with. See that that's smart. That's good form factor. That is uh, very intelligent. Um, again, holding it in my hand, I remember why I wanted one, and I remember why. Uh, this device was so attractive. So let's see what else we have. We have the Quick Start Guide, which is done in a uh, presumably Earth-friendly format with a lovely cardboard, and it's accordion style. Woo, look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, very simple. It appears to be all English. Very simply designed, not fancy, uh, trying to be all graphic design crazy or anything. Um, few even, oh, look at that, support, support numbers and, and email. That's, that's awesome. You don't get that a lot in user manuals. And even way in the back, other languages. So how to get this manual in something other than English. That's fabulous. Although, of course, the instructions how to do that are in English. So that's kind of funny. Um, all right, perfect. Um, again, you know, looking at how they're doing the user manual, simple, straightforward, nice and graphical, very easy, and very short, unlike a lot of user manuals. And the last thing in the box is our cord. Again, in a nice uh, earth-friendly packaging. I do want to also note that the um, the packaging itself in the box is recyclable. Uh, it feels like a, a sturdy paper stock, which is great. Love that. No more plastic to throw away other than these two. That's it. That's all I have to dispose of now that's not recyclable. I like that too. So our power cord, important, very simple, very clear which end you plug into the wall and which end you plug into the Kindle. But if you did doubt yourself, you could go back to your user manual. And slides off for the USB port. So that's the only part I think some people might not be able to figure out if they have never had a device like that before. Um, might, might just assume, well, where is that other end? I can't see it. But as always, in the user manual, it gives you a picture. So that's it. That is the Kindle. I think uh, the simplicity of the packaging, the simplicity of what's included in the packaging, the ease of access to the three pieces once you open the box, that's it. You're done. And I think that's why uh, people have liked the Kindle so much, is that it is straightforward, simple, and easy in a way that we haven't really seen from vendors other than Apple before. Uh, a colleague recently compared the Kindle to something you would normally see come out of Apple's hands, and I think that that's true. So there's my Kindle. It's unboxed, and I'm ready to get started despite the fact that I'm betraying my library friends by uh, actually getting something that doesn't work with library ebooks. So shame on you, Amazon, for not doing that. But I'm going to take off my librarian hat and now be a consumer for a while and uh, read my first book. Cheers.